Yes, we're receiving the image. We're receiving the image, so the SSVP mode is complete. Team here on the ground confirming that uh, the Soyuz has undocked, and you can see here in the view being sent down from the Soyuz via Russian ground stations, moving away now from the International Space Station, and that incurred on time at 6.35 p.m. Central Time. What about the satellite? Is it on? No, not yet. Could you please activate the headlight? Okay. Yes, you, you can switch, uh, turn on the headlight. Okay. We can see you clear, clearly. We are uh, departing, uh, you know, with the nose slightly raised up. The headlight is turned on, copy that, turned on. Somehow, you know, the light of the headlight looks a little bit weird. Uh, do you observe the interface? I don't see all of it. Of course, uh, it's uh, in shadow. Okay, let's do the AGC mode. Okay. Sasha, AGC mode. Once again, the uh, Soyuz TMA-08M carrying Expedition 36 Commander Pavel Vinogradov and flight engineers Alexander Masurkin and Chris Casty has uh, undocked from the International Space Station that took place as scheduled at 6.35 p.m. Central Time when the station and Soyuz are about 258 miles above Mongolia. And as you can see, it's now slowly making its way back away from the International Space Station in, pre in preparation for the separation burn that will speed that uh, okay, that move up a bit. Yes. That uh, wraps up a 166-day stay aboard the International Space Station for that crew. They uh, launched to the, to the space station on March 28th and uh, arrived that same day, making the first one-day journey Fedia, can you see to the space station for any crew? And with that undocking, it now officially marks the beginning of Expedition 37 for the crew members left on board the space station. Their commanders now Fyodor Yurchikin and along with uh, along with him, flight engineers Luca Parmitano and Karen Nyberg. We are standing by for the depot activation. We have activation. We are observing. Now the in. Uh, and the team here on the ground also now confirming that the separation burn is in progress. So the deactivation of depot. We are observing. And that 15 second burn now complete. The 15 seconds that the Soyuz jets fire ease it further away from the International Space Station at a rate of just over a mile per hour. It begins uh, by moving it zenith and then aft the space station. This again should put them a safe distance away from the station in time for the deorbit burn that will drop the Soyuz back into the Earth's atmosphere at 9.05 p.m. Central Time and put them on a return course for Kazakhstan just before 10 p.m. Central Time.